So I'm in a Volvo A25G dump truck. I'm going to talk a little bit about the diff locks and the traction control. Now it's important to understand how the traction control works just so that you don't um, risk breaking a half shaft or breaking any drive components. With the G series Volvo have come up with a brilliant new concept for their traction control which merges the automatic function that the F series has alongside the manual function that any earlier model has. Now these both work together very well with the one rocker switch. To activate the automatic traction control simply press the bottom of the rocker switch down like so and that will allow the truck to activate and deactivate any diff locks that it requires at any point. Um, Volvo advised that you leave it in this mode whereas I find that driving around with it on like so if you are travelling over boggy ground it will tend to activate and deactivate diffs a lot more frequently and maybe a bit more viciously than you would like. So I find that it's best to keep it in the middle position and when you know that you're going, in, going to go through a bit of boggy ground simply activate them as you would traditionally with a previous model. To do that you simply press the front of the rocker switch down like so and that will activate the what would usually be the green longitudinal diff lock uh, and will send power to all three axles. To deactivate that you simply press it again and that will deactivate it. Things to look out for is if you have the truck in automatic mode you don't want to reverse up any banks where you risk lifting the middle axle off the ground because the truck will activate the diff locks to a spinning wheel and uh, you could risk breaking a half shaft or causing any harm. Uh, so it's best to keep it off and activate it manually if uh, that's what you require. Also if it's in automatic mode and you put it in reverse it will actively send power to all three axles um, so it could hinder tight manoeuvrability in reverse. So again, it might be best to turn it off. So in conclusion, use the automatic mode when you know that the ground conditions are going to be fairly firm and level. And if not, then use the manual mode. That leaves me to say thanks for watching and hit that like button.